I love shooting music videos. They're such a fun opportunity to come together with an artist and make something that's creative and expressive visually, all coming from the theme of whatever song that you're working with. I work with a lot of indie artists and they're always sending me inspiration for videos and they'll be like, yo, look at this video, like let's do something like this. And I'm like, yo, I love Kendrick Lamar's Humble Music video too, but no disrespect, I don't think you're working with that kind of budget. So don't let high budget music videos discourage you from making good work. You can make a lot of fire videos on a small crew, small budget. I'm gonna break down my creative process on how I shot this music video all by myself. First, let's talk about gear. I use the Sony FX3. I use the Sony G Master 24-70. Amaran FC22. The Aperture LS60X with a spotlight attachment. A singular Nanlite Pavo tube. And the Aperture Nova PC300. A GoPro and some filters. All of these scenes were shot in the same exact spot. My actual living room. So for this first performance shot, I set up a red backdrop, which is one of my favorite colors to shoot on. And I separated her and the backdrop by like a couple feet. I shined my Aperture Nova on the back of the backdrop to really illuminate the red. Then I pulled out my Aperture LS60X with the spotlight attachment. I made a circle, like a really defined small circle, and I put it like right on her eye because the song is called Keep Your Eyes On Me. So. Then I just shot it handheld. The song is super energetic, so movement is key. And I just let her do her thing and we got the shots that we needed. So next up, we have a really deep and dramatic performance scene with a blue light coming from above. And to get the shot, I set up my Amaran light and I placed it above her. I put a grid on and I made the color blue. It was fun, it was something that I like tried before in a past photo shoot and I was like, oh, let me try it on video and it worked out really nice. To take it further, I had a Prism FX filter that I put in front of the lens to give it more of like a dreamy, glowy effect. And instead of actually putting the filter on the lens, I put it in front of the lens and I was just kind of like rotating it back and forth to really control the light flares as you can see here. Next up, we have my favorite shot, which is this aerial shot of Cheyenne laying on the ground inside this circle of light performing to the camera. I used my LS60 with the spotlight mount and I brought it to the second level of my apartment and I shot it straight down. And honestly, what made the shot even better was the fact that she was sitting on a really stylized rug. Shout out Costco. Next up, we have our rooftop performance scene where Cheyenne is just dancing around with the LA skyline behind her and I pulled out my Pavo tube, I made it red, just held it up, and then I shot it handheld. Let's talk about the GoPro scene. So in this scene, I literally just gave her a GoPro. I've done this effect before. It's fun when you have artists that are like able to be expressive and animated to the camera. And I just let her hold the GoPro and just do her thing. And she shot that whole part by herself while I was just holding up a tube light that was just going through different colors, it added a little more flair, a little more character by giving like a different type of camera and a different kind of look to the visual with using the GoPro. After we shot that, we wanted to go out and get some more movement. So I had Cheyenne just run around the streets of downtown LA. Again, I'm just holding a singular Nanlite tube. I adjusted my shutter to about I don't know, like 40 or 30, so I get some motion blur to add to the trippy feel to it. And I really think that scene added a lot more energy to the video. The best part of this video was Cheyenne's energy on camera. This was actually her first music video ever, and I'm usually kind of paranoid and nervous working with artists on their first videos because a lot of times they just talk crazy because they just haven't done this before. But Cheyenne gave me so much trust and that's all I need to really do the best job that I can. And 
we're both super happy with the video. Well, that is the full breakdown of that music video. I hope you learned something, I hope you enjoyed, and if you found this video even slightly entertaining, consider subscribing, drop a like, and leave a comment if you have any questions. There's so much in video production and I'm sure there's something else that I could have explained or maybe I missed, so let me know and I'm happy to always answer any questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.